win or lose. We're going to walk out of the stadium tonight with our heads held high. That is amazing. Wow. What a game. Oh, oh my. Unbelievable. One more for the record books. Nothing's going to stop us now. At the buzzer, knocks it down. Pick is up. Yes. He made it. Yes. Reverse layup is good with five seconds left. Put six on my staff. First title in program history. Being a in-state kid, everything that I wanted in the school was right at home. Every coach has a toolbox, and every tool is from another coach. Camaraderie, feel to hang out with each other and be together. Takes it all the way for the touchdown, led by a future Badger. I'm very excited for this kid because he is brilliant. What an absolute javelin toss. He's going to throw a jump pass and complete it for the two-point conversion to Hawk. I mean, we can see a lot of offense. Put the explanation point on it. At the buzzer! At the buzzer. Do your best. Thank you so much for all you guys do for high school sports. Guys, I got goosebumps. It's all anybody can ask for. The biggest games, the most compelling stories, the area's best high school sports coverage. This is Zimbrick Honda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. Zimbra Condon's presentation of Prep Mania in the 608 basketball tournament. Five games down, one to go. Showcase game number two between the eighth ranked Lake Mills Elcats and the Wanakee Warriors to close out an exciting weekend of basketball at Madison College. Good evening, everybody. Happy Saturday night. December 16th, 2023. My name's Jesse Delson, joined by the official himself, Tim Haldeman. For nearly 50 years, Zimbrick Honda's provided the Madison area with quality Honda vehicles, and the trusted staff of Zimbrick Honda's used car dealership will save you time and reduce your car buying stress by finding the vehicle that matches your style. If you're in the market for a new Honda or a used Honda, visit Zimbrick Honda in Madison today or online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Tim Haldeman, Bill Kegler puts on an amazing tournament here at Madison College. We just saw Wisconsin Lutheran and Duke commit Con Knipple defeat Lakeville North and Wisconsin commit Jack Robison to win the championship a few moments ago. And now the final game of the tournament featured two local Madison area teams, Wanakee and Lake Mills in what should be a thriller to close down this tournament in 2023. Absolutely, without a doubt. And this is, uh, you know, your, your large school in Wanakee and then your, uh, your small school in Lake Mills. Uh, High school uh, probably is like 350 kids. And I'll tell you what, this coaching staff at Lake Mills just keeps turning them out year after year after year. And, and I don't know what it is, but you know, there's not a guy on this team that likes to shoot an 18 footer. They wanna go beyond that 21 foot line. I mean to tell you, these guys put it up from three consistently, ball screen on top of ball screen. And, and I mean, they do things right. So well coached. Wanakee, of course, uh, Tyler Selk now at the helm. Uh, Randolph fame, uh, you know, 11 uh, state championships at Randolph. Bob Heffley, 10. Tyler Fisher, 1. And counting, you know, what a great tradition for Tyler Selk, who, of course, went on to play for Bull Ryan at Platteville and uh, his first year at the helm here. And uh, just what a, what a great atmosphere here. Jesse, this is incredible. The gym's still pretty packed in to take in this second showcase game, the final game of this year's 608 basketball tournament showcase. Lake Mills, an undefeated 4-0 on the season, have not played a conference game yet in the Capital North, which consists of just a few teams. Wanakee, 4-1. A three and one record in Badger North Conference play. Wanakee's only loss of the season coming in game two of this campaign to Monona Grove. Starting lineups being introduced here at Madison College. We'll step aside while the lineups and the national anthem take place. When we come back, tip of our final game of the 608 basketball tournament 2023. Lake Mills and Wanakee on Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania. 
Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Big trailers and big opportunity. Since 1962, Stoughton Trailers has been a family-owned and operated business providing a professional yet casual work environment in Stoughton, Evansville, and Broadhead. If you're looking for your hard work to be rewarded with competitive wages and excellent benefits, plus growth and advancement opportunities, Stoughton Trailers is the spot for you. Positions now open in production, operations, finance, sales, engineering, and more. Go to stojobs.com to apply today. Stoughton Trailers, big trailers, big opportunity. The GRB Rays have established themselves as one of the top baseball programs in the Midwest and the country. GRB Academy offers training programs for players of all ages and skill levels. Learn from some of the best baseball coaches in the area and find the program that fits your training goals and your schedule. Spots are filling up fast, so visit grbacademy.com to sign up now. That's grbacademy.com. GRB Academy, baseball for the serious player. Zimbrick Honda's presentation of Prep Mania, the 608 basketball tournament. Showcase game number two to close down the 2023 event. Third annual 608 basketball tournament. The Lake Mills Elcats and the Wanakee Warriors. Lake Mills eighth ranked in the Wisports.net coaches poll in Division Three. Wanakee unranked though four and one, and they have an invite and a seat at the dance here at the 608 tournament. Tim Haldeman, because they have their eyes set on the Kohl Center in March of 2024 and a chance to win a state title. All right, balls in the air. Here we go. We are underway. Lake Mills in the home white uniforms. Wanakee in the road blacks. And the opening possession goes to Wanakee after a little throw away. And in with it is Jake Bova. Just like that, we're underway. The senior Bova with two points to start the scoring for the Wanakee Warriors. Lake Mills working left to right as you watch it with us here on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel. The 608 basketball tournament. Lake Mills is a team that loves to score 76 points a game on the season in their four wins. Top of the key, open three is good. That's Tyler a freshman. Wolleen. That's a freshman. Notice the ball movement. Quick response up toward the bucket. Nothing doing but an offensive board. McKenzie kicks it out. Bova for three. Short, no good, and a rebound, Lake Mills. Watch for Wanakee uh, out of their man-to-man -to, -man to trap in the corners. Pull up three, left wing, no good for A.J. Bender, the leading scorer with Division I offers for the Lake Mills Elcats. Bova comes the other way, all four so far for Wanakee. They have a 4-3 lead just over a minute in. No shot clock, but... Uh, <laughs> There's really no need for one here. <laughs> it's been a theme through much of this 608 tournament showcase here this weekend at Madison College. Pass to the right side for A.J. Bender. He kicks it over into the corner. Now back up top. Driving down to the block. Downhill, yes, for Woleen. His older brother plays at Platteville. It runs in the family. Woleen for Lake Mills. Bova for Wanakee with all the scoring. Elcats up by one. Less than two minutes in. Open three, right side, short for Caden McKenzie, and the Elcats have it. And without numbers, Lake Mills decides to slow things down. Bender pulls up, no good. Halfway down and out for A.J. Bender. Bova controlling it, now goes right. Here comes Fritch downhill, and an offensive foul is called on Keaton Fritch, the leading scorer of the Wanakee Warriors, averaging 13 points a game. Jesse, you introduced me as an official. I'm going to go with my uh, official's brain on this one. Uh, interesting call right there. The trail passed on that one. As there was some contact, the lead got it. That's the way it's supposed to be done. 15.50 to go in the first half. Just underway, 6.08 tournament showcase game number two, Wanakee and Lake Mills, the final game of the 6.08 tournament at Madison College this weekend. 
They, are, they are letting them bump and grind out front defensively for Wanakee here. That goes in Wanakee's favor without a doubt. Elcat slowing it down on this series out of the screen. Open three, no good left side for Matt Stenbroughton. And a rebound comes the other way for Wanakee. Number 22, Eli Selk goes downhill. Now this was a shot for Fritch, no good. Batted around, Lake Mills has it. Bender pulls it away. A.J. Bender across midcourt, shakes and bakes. Now goes right corner for Stenbroughton. He pulls it back down. Pump fake travel on Brady Benish. 15.07 to go in the first half. Tim, it was fast scoring for the two players, Boba and Woleen out of the gates. Everybody else a little slow getting started here at Madison well, College. Well, we had uh, nine points in about a minute and 45 seconds, and we've gone scoreless since. The Wanakee Warriors only lost this season, came in game two of the regular season against the Monona Grove Silver Eagles by a score of 64 to 57. A loaded non-conference schedule for Wanakee this season as they try and battle test themselves for a run to the Cole Center. There's an open three from the left side. Owen Elliott, welcome to the box score. Elliott gives Wanakee a 7-5 lead. Back when we were kids, the, uh, the coach told us, hey, uh, we want five passes, six passes before somebody shoots the clock. If you did that in Wanakee, you'd sit in the bench. Elliott, one of four Wanakee Warriors, averaging six points a game so far this season. Three-point attempt for Woleen comes up short, and on a bounce, Bova has it for the Warriors. Jake Bova, dish left for Vance Johnson, cross court. McKenzie, back to Elliott. A lot of movement here for Wanakee. Pull up jumper is too strong for Caden McKenzie. Rebound Lake Mills approaching four minutes into this game. Driving right side, oh, with the right hand. Ty Schaefer, first points of the night. You just give those uh, Elcats just a sliver down the paint and they're gonna take advantage of it. Bova feeds Vance Johnson. Extra movement off the screen, pull up three. Left side, no good for Selk. And here comes Lake Mills with a chance to get the lead back. Pull up three in transition is no good. Brady Benish had an open look in the left corner, couldn't hit it. Bova steps back go. beyond Let the top of the key. And now the dish left side all the way cross court pass into the hands of McKenzie. McKenzie feeds it outside. Selk for three, oh. banks it in on a Saturday night. <laughs> 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 Eli Selk, the junior, gives Wanakee a 10-7 lead. He'll take it. He looked at the coaching, <laughs> coaching staff and said, hey, counts three. Kick it right. There it Moline. is, back door. Down underneath, out of room, stolen away. McKenzie contacted, no whistle. Wanakee maintains possession. Bova weaving his way through defenders. Off balance, shot no good. Lake Mills has it. Oh, baby, they are letting him play. Woleen across midcourt, picks up the dribble, nearly traveled, instead they kick it over. Now downhill, Bender with the left hand, yes sir. First points of the night, A.J. Bender, 10-9, Wanakee. Drove the baseline strong on the left side, had every opportunity to uh, draw a charging foul, but hey, maneuvered his body perfectly to avoid that. 12.30 to go, first half, one point game, showcase number two of the 608 basketball tournament. We thank you joining us live or on demand on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel for this presentation of Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Left side, Jake Bova. Kick it all around. Wanna keep patient on this trip down the floor, trying to find the open look. They have one for McKenzie. It comes up short, but an offensive board for the Warriors. Collecting it on the right-hand side, Elliott kicks it out. Three-point attempt, no good again. Batted around. Now McKenzie has it. Inside, McKenzie turns around, uses the glass and gets two points. That's the key right there, using the glass. Boy, you don't see that often enough. Third time's a charm for Wanakee with two offensive rebounds on that trip. And the Warriors lead it 12-9. Bounce pass down to the right block. A.J. Bender working for position and a whistle prior to the shot. They're going to say it's on Wanakee. Keep it on this end where Lake Mills with 11.40 to go in the first half, Tim. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, if you're not in shape, you're not gonna last very long in this game. This is at a frenetic pace. I, uh, I've done some, uh, I think I've done a 12 or 13 basketball game so far this year, and uh, uh, without a doubt, this is the, the most uh, fastest pace I've seen all season long. I would be exhausted and looking for an oxygen tank by this time. 
<coughs> doing the inbounding. Number 10, Brody Henderson gets it in cleanly for the Lake Mills Cats. Driving right side now, ooh, Wolleen, ooh, ooh. and the ball is stuck. Yep, that's a, an alternate possession. And uh, let's see. Arrow gives White, it to Wanaki. White had it initially over there in the corner, so it should be black basketball. And uh, the table to our left, Mike McHugh running the show over here. <coughs> you got it right. You like doing that, identifying the teams by jersey color. Is that how you do it as an official? Absolutely. We, <laughs> we don't go by names. <laughs> I always thought that was weird that officials didn't call the names out. Why not just say well, uh, Only in the NBA. Wanakee basketball. Three-point attempt, no good for the Wanakee Warriors. The team in the road, black uniforms. Lake Mills rebounds. Here comes the Cats. Right side of the floor, Bender. Driving into traffic and draws contact with 11.04 to go in the first half in a three-point game. Uh, the, of the two teams, there's no doubt uh, Wanakee is going to go deeper in the bench. They're going to go at least nine. And uh, I, I doubt very much if Lake Mills can go that deep in a, uh, a game of this nature. Both of these teams lost in their playoff runs last season in the regional finals of their respective divisions. Wanakee, after an undefeated conference run, finishing first place in the Badger North, lost in the Ooh, regional final. That was final. almost a five-second call. To Milwaukee Almost. Hamilton by a score of 73 to 67. Three point attempt, no good for Lake Mills, who lost to crosstown rival Lakeside Lutheran in the regional final last year. There's a whistle. 10.53 to go in the first half, and Lake Mills gets it back. Elcats have it. Casey Hagedorn to do the inbounding into the backcourt for Brady Benish. Benish across the timeline, goes right side. Brody Henderson, now 22 is Tanner Wendorf. A lot of reserves checking in for Lake Mills. Right side, Benish. Swing it back all the way to the left side. Bender one-on-one -on -one against McKenzie. Bender trying to find positioning, instead gets some help for Wendorf. Swing it right. Nothing doing, back to Bender, top of the key. Lake Mills resets. Bender wants to take it himself with the left hand and a whistle prior to the drive. Another foul on Wanakee. Just enough hesitation right at the elbow there, Jesse, that, that gave him that uh, just a little tick that allowed him to uh, make that quick move to the hoop. Now he was on his strong side. He's left-handed, so he's going in on the left side. Always makes a difference when you're playing defense. Four fouls on the Warriors, none yet called on the Lake Mills Elcats. Two of those fouls for Wanakee on leading scorer Keaton Fritch. He takes a seat on the bench. Lake Mills may sense a little blood in the water here early in this game. Bender out near the volleyball line between midcourt and the top of the key. Dishes it now for Wendorf. Now Ooh, Benish. Almost a five-second call there as well. You're all over those five-second calls, Tim, and I love oh, he it. He got here. pushed from behind. Yeah, Bender again draws contact. So A.J. <laughs> Bender is quiet in this game so far, averaging 21 points a game, but he's drawn now three fouls on this series alone. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I told you right off the get-go that Wanakee is going to be the more physical team, and, and the, without a doubt, I mean, they're just bumping and grinding out there 24 feet from the basket. Devontae Bacon called for the foul. Inbound pass comes into Bender on the left side. Bender thinking about using the screen from Henderson. Now dishes all the way over to the left corner. Hagedorn back to Bender. Lake Mills wants a good look. Bender's going to try and find it. Spins Beautiful. around in the paint. Oh, what a feed down low, but it's too strong for Hagedorn. And a rebound, Wanakee. 9.40 to go first half. Bacon ends up giving it over to Trey Murray. Murray bounce pass left side. McKenzie. Fakes the handoff, trying to find an opening. Instead, now it's back to Murray. Out of the screen, right side, Elliott. Back to Murray. Strong Lake Mills defense, allowing just 51 points a game to supplement their 76 on offense. That's an average score per game of a 25-point victory through four so far for Lake Mills in this 2023-24 campaign. Left side, baseline, contact drawn. Jack Ellickson initiates the contact. First foul against Lake Mills sends Ellickson to the free throw line to shoot two. And now we've got some blood on uh, Hagedorn, I believe it is. Oh, pardon me, Wendorf. 
And Wendorf, number 22, picked up the foul and is checking out of the game. <coughs> 9.01, right at the midway point of the first half. Hard fought battle on both ends so far. Tim, I always love to share the magic number when I call Prep Mania broadcast, usually with the Dean Dennis Semrau. 98% of the time, a number that is shared in a formula that was taught to me by Bradley Braves announcer Dave Snell when I was in college at Bradley University. 98% of the time, team that scores this number goes on to win the game. Ooh. 63 is tonight's magic number. First point is good for Ellickson at the line. How'd you come up with this? I can't reveal the, the oh, secret. Magicians okay. don't reveal their secrets, oh, but no. I will tell you, Tim, that number hasn't missed since the Division Three Boys Basketball State Championship game in 2017, which saw a late comeback for the Prescott Cardinals with a game-winning buzzer beater as time expired. That's what it took to defeat the magic number. Going on seven that, years That's of that good thing. stuff. That's gonna trump what I got for you at halftime. I can't wait. <laughs> 14 to nine after both free throws are good for Ellickson, and now Wanakee forces a turnover. Coming right side of the floor, Owen Elliott kicks it over to the left side, Selk back to Elliott, three point attempt, halfway down and out, lot of contact on the rebound, no whistle, and it's going back to Lake Mills. Right side, Bender, pull up, three, no good. Strong offensive rebound for Stenbrotten, and it's pulled away by Wanakee though, Stenbrotten couldn't find anywhere to go with it. Boy, I'll tell you, you go under the boards here, you have better be hitting the weights lately, man, because it's a, it's a battle. Three-point shot is good for Ellickson. Just like that, he's got five points to lead the Warriors in scoring in this first half. Wanakee's opened up a 17-9 lead and a timeout, Lake Mills. Coach Steve Hicklin wants to talk things over with his squad with 8-11 to go in the first half. Tim Haldeman, if you're Coach Hicklin, why are you calling that timeout and what are you telling your team after Wanakee's gone on a little bit of a run here all of a sudden? Well, I'll tell you what, we've got 18-minute halves now. And, and I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but an awful lot of coaches love to take a timeout at nine minutes or, or thereabouts. We've got 8-11 left, and, uh, you know, they just knocked down a three. It was a, uh, a five-point game, now all of a sudden eight. And uh, you just want to give your guys, your starters, you want to give them a second win and, and get them sweating good. And uh, I'll tell you what, this ball club from Lake Mills, they can down threes so fast. I mean, you can get nine points in a matter of a minute. I mean, it's just a barrage of threes. They don't take many twos. Uh, have you ever seen Grinnell play? I have, yeah. Have you? Yeah. Grinnell yeah. College? Where they just shoot and shoot Woo! and shoot and shoot and shoot I mean, and run it, and run it, and run. It isn't, it isn't any yeah. quite where it's quite to that point, but, <laughs> I mean, you don't take 80 uh, threes in a game like Grinnell does. <laughs> but uh, the, the percentage of threes for Lake Mills has got to be one of the highest in the state of Wisconsin, without a doubt. Volume shooters at Grinnell and volume shooters for the Lake Mills Elcats as well. Out of the timeout, let's see what they've got. Coming downhill, right side. Shot no good, too strong for Woleen. And a rebound to Wanakee looking to extend the lead to double digits. To the top of the key, Elliott, swing it left. Now over to the corner, pump fake. Ellickson wants to drive baseline, ran out of real estate. So bring it all the way back up top. Number 24 is Vance Johnson. Johnson feeds it right, bounce pass over to the left side, top of the key. Wanakee patiently looking for a good shot. There's an open look, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Lake Mills. 7.30 to go in the first half. Elcats down 17 to nine. Right side, Bender. Oh, he wants to take it toward the bucket, but the Wanakee defense stepped in the way. Lake Mills maintains possession, but Tim, that was great defense by Wanakee. Well, right at the hoop, but uh, Lake Mills got the tip out and they keep the possession. All the way to the left side, Stenbrotten takes a three, wow. misfires too he's, long. He's out of his element right there. That's, that's, that's just pushing him out, the defense pushing him out. Over to the left side, number five is Owen Elliott. Elliott drives inside, Ooh, spin move, oh! Tricky, Elliott did everything but finish. No good and it's out of bounds. Staying with Wanakee is the call with 6.55 to go in the first half in an eight point game. Lake Mills has missed a couple of bunnies. You know, two easy, easy layups. You, you add those to the score, we got a 17-13 ball game, Jesse. You, you got to make the bunnies. This might be the toughest test on the schedule, at least as of now from what we see for the Lake Mills Elcats in this 2023-24 season. More on that in a moment as Keaton Frisch 
gets into the box score for the first time tonight. Leading scorer for Wanakee, first team all-conference player last year, the senior Fridge with his first points of the evening to extend Wanakee's lead to 10. 19 to nine is our score. And A.J. Bender and the Elcats need to figure something out on offense. Bender's also misfiring from three. Yeah. That came up way short, just hit the bottom of the nylon. He's just not in rhythm. Seems like none of the Elcats are, and I think you can credit that Wanakee defense for putting him in that position. Kaden, 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 bring it out. Chin, Chin, Chin. Wanakee resets up top with McKenzie. McKenzie working left side, dumps it off, now kick it all the way right. Bounce pass down to the right block. Underneath the bucket looking for room. Now it comes out to the left corner. McKenzie drives in, kicks out. Three is short. Offensive board for Fritch. And Wanakee resets. How often does that long three carry him way out and uh, you get a reload? Owen Elliott. Jake Bova scored the first four points of this game. Has not scored since. Wanakee holding a 10-point advantage with Approaching five and a half minutes to go in the opening half. Off the screen, Bova thought about a shot, instead puts it down on the floor. Goes left, steps up, gets his own board, and a touch for a putback is good, Jake Bova. Oh, I just looked at Steve Hicklin, and he gave me the old eye roll right there. <laughs> Pull up three, that's the look I gave there you when go. you walked in. <laughs> Ty Schaefer is good for three. First three-point shot of the night for the junior Schaefer. And that was a much needed shot made for Lake Mills. 21-12 with five minutes to play in the first half. Spin around, oh, what a beauty. Caden McKenzie, Wanakee back up double digits. Bender's response, kick it to the corner, open three. That's the one right and there. And it's good for Shave, or for Benish, I should say. Everybody collapses on A.J. Bender as he goes in on his strong side, looks over to the deep corner, wide open for it's Benish. His partner in crime, Brady Benish, second leading scorer for Lake Mills this year, averaging 14 points a game. 4.30 to go now in the first half, 23-15. Wanakee up by eight. Right side, three, and that's good for McKenzie. A three-point party breaking out at the 6 I'll tell you tournament. what, just what I've seen here and what I've heard, McKenzie really stirs the, the whole pot for this bunch of Warriors out here. Left side, Woleen, back up top, three-point shot. That's no good for Bender, but he was bumped, and three free throws upcoming for the leading scorer of Lake Mills, A.J. Bender, with 4.08 to go in the first half. I'll tell you what, Tyler Woleen, just a freshman, he was a quarterback on their football team this year. The, the kid is uh, you know, gonna get better at basketball, without a doubt, but he's a three-sport athlete. Football, basketball, baseball. I'll tell you what, his dad also was a just a heck of a player back in his day, and uh, he's just running in the family. A couple of uh, uh, sisters, a uh, pair of twins, uh, also playing for the uh, girls, doing a great job as well. Bender able to hit the second free throw, missed the first. Ten point game with 4.08 to go in this half. So I mentioned this is going to be one of the toughest tests for Lake Mills this year. They've won each of their first four games by, here's the margin of victories, Tim, 20 at Waupon, 31 against Cambridge, 23 against Beloit Turner, 26 at Marshall to begin the season. Tell you what, I've seen Cambridge, and they're not a slough bunch of kids. They, they can play. Then they're two of three on the trip to the line, 26-17. No teams currently ranked in the Wisports Sports Coaches Poll at any level remain on the schedule for Lake Mills as of today. Obviously that can change with the rankings throughout the course of the season, but as of today, as opposed to Wanakee who has loaded up their non-conference schedule with tournament showcases just like this one at the 608. I mean, this is a tale of two schedules when you look at what Lake Mills is facing this year and what Wanakee has in store. 3.53 to go in the first half. Wanakee maintains possession after the ball was batted out of bounds. Devontae Bacon doing the inbounding. That is a tough spot to try and inbound the ball. Good luck. And he's able to get it in on a right-hand bounce. Rush, Stay wide, Bob. Strong check. Hard Murray cut. feeds to the free throw Finish. line. Ellickson gives it Ooh. down low. Blocked from behind, but he gets it back. And Eli Selk puts it in. He's got five points. Wanakee's back up 11. Just like the late 90s when Dad was doing it. 
Schaefer, good again. What an answer. I mean, it didn't take very long, did it? I mean, like two and a half seconds, they're down the floor, and they got a three going up. 28 to 20, Wanakee. Staying in this comfort level of an eight-point lead, give or take a few points here and there. Ooh. There's a three-point shot for Bova. And a hand in the face. That's tough to do. There's another one. Bova's got nine oh. now and a foul with 3.05 to go. First half, 31-20. And to the free throw line goes Brady Benish, who just made that three in the corner on the last trip down. He's got six points. Schaefer's got five. Wolene's got five. But Lake Mills has to find somebody that they know they can consistently rely on to at least get the offense going each trip down the floor. Maybe that guy is Benish because he just hit the first free throw and is now the team's leading scorer with seven points tonight. Tell you what, his, uh, he comes from good stock. His, his dad that's an assistant coach, one heck of a player back in his day as well. 31-21, Brady Benish, second free throw attempt. Sets, fires, and good. 31-22, Division I Wanakee, Division Three Lake Mills. Lake Mills, the Elcats, the eighth ranked team in the Wisports.net coaches poll entering this 608 tournament. Three-point shot, right That's side tough. is good for Eli Self. Wanakee back up by 12, and now gonna contact. Go. Good call. Wendorf puts yep. it in and has a chance to make it three at the free throw line. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be a little discussion when they watch the film on that one. Eli knocks the three down to her left, and uh, you know I'm, I'm not going to tell you that he uh, hustled 110% back, and uh, all of a sudden he got beat defensively. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what, there's college coaches that are going to look at that one and they're going to say, sorry, buddy, you gotta, you got to work both ends. Offensive rebound for Lake Mills off the missed free throw. Pull up three is good for Benish. How about it, Benish? Three made threes in the first half, and Lake Mills just like that is only down seven. I tell you, watch those ball screens for you folks watching on video at home. Just, just watch those ball screens out high. Man, those are solid. Left corner, swing it all the way to the top. Bova using the screen, drives downhill. Contact and a foul called. Bova will shoot free throws. 2.13 to go in the first the half. Talk about this schedule, Tim. How about this for Wanakee? So they already played Monona Grove in a tough game. Loaded non conference schedule. They won at Wauwatosa East. They get Lake Mills here in the 608 tournament showcase. The Ab Nicholas tournament at Wanakee High School, December 27th and 28th. Arrowhead, who's seventh ranked in the state right now. Stevens Point is eighth ranked in the state. Oconomowoc is on that schedule. They have loaded up knowing that last year they ran the gauntlet in the Badger North but came up short of the ultimate goal by losing in the regional final. Well, one way to get better, play good competition. Play the good Period. competition. End of story. That's exactly what they're doing. Boba good at the free throw line, one of two, 35-27. Wanakee up by eight with two minutes to go in the half. Three-point shot, heat check for Benish, and yeah. that time he missed it. Th that was forced. That was absolutely, no, there was really no hurry. I don't understand the, the quickness involved in uh, trying to get rid of that shot. He had a hand in his face. He had a body right on him. And uh, it was only the, like the second pass of the uh, possession. Wanakee right gets it back with under two minutes to play in the first half. 6.08 tournament oh, showcase number two. Downhill, right side, contact. The lead's, the lead's gotta take that one. The lead's Bova gotta take that got one. it. The, the referees are gonna discuss it. I know what I got on that one. We'll see what happens. Yep, absolutely, that's a Offensive charge. foul. 100%. So what makes you say that, Tim, when you're well, seeing Well, okay. You, you got the, the lead was on the weak side, okay? Which is unfortunate. So the, the, uh, the C, uh, the official on the far side, he, he was on the ball, okay? And uh, the lead is supposed to take that. He's supposed to be the guy that takes it. One guy has to take the call. One guy has to hold, okay, until the other guy makes his decision. It, it's very, very difficult. We all know that the block charge is by far the most difficult call in basketball. And it, and it makes it very difficult in high school without the, you know, the boundary in front of the hoop like there is in college. 
Tyler, Tyler some... Selk helping out the officials here to try to figure out who the foul should be on. Some, some communication occurring here, <laughs> yeah. So it is called on Bova. That is the ninth team foul on Wanakee to just two yeah. for Lake Mills. Now the key to that whole uh, situation there is that both guys do not make a call at the same time. So in other words, you don't have what we call a blarge. Okay, a blarge, a blarge, a block charge. You have a, you have a block yeah. on one guy on the on the lead, for instance, mm -hmm. and you have the tra the trail, you know, going to the opposite direction. That's Old why course. one guy has to hold. That's a great explanation. Thank you, Tim Haldeman. If Dean Blandino doesn't want to return to his post next year, maybe we give you a call. <laughs> I'm on. Full court pressure applied I, by the Wanakee defense, and they force a turnover against Lake Mills. I come real cheap too, uh, Jesse. <laughs> Tell that to the management, will you? <laughs> it's actually a foul that's I, called. I've already the, been paid. I got a free meal. The second foul on A.J. <laughs> Bender. I had more than one meal here, but that, don't, don't ask anybody. Well, I'm looking forward to the next year already. <laughs> 90 seconds to go until the end of the first half. 35-27, Wanakee with the basketball up by eight. Right side, Jake Bova, who's been everywhere on offense for Wanakee in this first half. Back up top for Self. Selk dishes Good back Bova. A lot of movement away from the basketball. Let's see if it opens somebody up on this possession for the Wanakee Warriors. Champions of the Badger North Conference a year ago. Minute remaining here, and uh, if it gets down another 20 seconds, they might just hold for one. McKenzie dribbling. Thought he might have an angle to the hoop. Lake Mills crashed, and so they reset. Wanakee, 40, 45 seconds left. Wanakee participated in this 608 tournament last year as it's knocked out of bounds and it'll stay with the Warriors. Did not go well for Wanakee in their showing here. So they're back in the showcase portion of the tournament, not the bracketed field, but the showcase games before and after the consolation and championship today. Oshkosh North and Stoughton participating in that portion to start the day. Went to double overtime, the game of the tournament so far. Although the championship game might have something to say about that. That was a heck of a championship. So approaching Ooh. 30 seconds to go off the screen. Three-point shot. Oh, that's no a foul good on five. For Selk. Five black. And Tyler Selk not too get. happy with that one. And that's going to be, that should be a bonus, I think. It is double bonus the rest of the way for Lake Mills. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. So the official brings the ball all the way to the other end. 28.9 to go in the first half, and Lake Mills will shoot two free throws in the double bonus. Ten fouls on Wanakee here in the first half, just three on Lake Mills. Shooting four, Lake Mills, number three, Ty Schaefer. So Schaefer goes to the line, and he'll get two no matter what. You notice I, I said that uh, Wanakee may hold for one. Uh, I think right now they wish they would have held for one. You know, uh, you, you put up a three that was forced. You had a hand in his face, off balance from the corner. Uh, not a real high percentage shot, and uh, the L Cats get the rebound and uh, and a somewhat of a foolish foul, very honestly. Up a touchdown, Wanakee, 35-28 on Lake Mills. Second a, free throw is go no other good, way. but uh, and yes, over the back, just number 22. Foul. Tanner Wendorf went over the back. That's his second. I don't think anybody's in foul trouble with three, is there? No, no. 27 seconds to go in the first half. 35 28. Oh, 608 they, tournament showcase game number two. They don't hold for one here. I'd be amazed. Bova right side for Fritch. Oh Loose ball stolen away. Lake Mills. Wolene comes with it. Shakes oh. past the defender. Layup no good. Wanakee has it going the other way. 10 seconds. Right side of the floor. Bova kicks it. Top of the key. Open look for Fritch. Drops down a three as the first half comes to a close. Wanakee up 10. 38 28. That's how you close a half. I'll tell you what, big turn of events right there as uh, Lake Mills was going in for the layup. Yes, it was contested. Yes, there was contact. Yes, they passed on the uh, on the contact. No foul. Boom. They go the other way. They knock down a, th a three, right? Or was yeah, it they, they did it. They three. knocked down yeah. a three. So instead of a five-point game with two free throws, it's now a ten-point advantage. Huge. Huge momentum swing heading us into the half. 38-28, Wanakee leads Lake Mills. So you'll see on our video stream here on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel that 
Alex Strofe is back out on the floor. I don't know why they keep giving this guy a microphone in the spotlight, but our teammate at ESPN Madison, Alex Strofe, handling the MC responsibilities to present the all-tournament team here in 2023 for the 608 basketball tournament. Let's turn it over to him. I will keep it right here on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel so you can see the presentation of these awards. There you have it, Alex Strofe presenting the all-tournament team, including the 2023 tournament MVP future Duke Blue Devil, Con Knipple. Tim, uh, the game that we saw in the championship featuring Duke versus Wisconsin, Con Knipple and Wisconsin Lutheran, Jack Robison and Lakeville North, that's what this tournament is really all about. It brings in teams from around the state, even outside the state's borders, to compete in one of the premier showcases of high school hoops in Wisconsin every single year. This is the third year of the event, Every year, we've been treated to seeing such tremendous talent, and it did not disappoint again this season. Jesse's so, tr Jesse's so true, and uh, I'll tell you what. All you have to do is look around the country. In in college basketball today, there's an awful lot of kids from uh, sea to shining sea that are playing uh, college basketball from Wisconsin. You can even go further than that. Yes, hey, you can. Hey, go to the NBA. Hey. Uh, the Bucks played uh, the Indiana Pacers the other night. Hey, kid from Oshkosh. Tyrese Halliburton. Hey, I mean to tell you, <laughs> you just don't get an automatic ticket to the NBA. Tyrese just because you think you're good. Jalen Johnson, oh. Jalen's brother Kobe at USC right now doing tremendous things. Tyler Hero, of course, from Whitnell High School. There has been a resurgence of talent in the state of Wisconsin going on to play not only at the next level, but the level after that, like you mentioned, Tim, and it is right. on display here at the 608 tournament. This is where you get to see them before they become those mega I'll stars. I'll tell you what, I, I will never forget, you know, as a basketball official for the last uh, nearly 35 years in the state of Wisconsin and having uh, done games in Madison and, and what have you, I saw Wes, Wes Matthews, you know, as a, as a sophomore, uh, uh, you know, I, 
he wasn't exactly the greatest sport in town, to be very honest, but he was without a doubt the best player in town. He knew he was good, but he, but he proved it, all right? And, uh, yeah, we had a little problem uh, with his, uh, his sportsmanship on occasion, <laughs> but... Uh, but you know that that goes sort of with the territory when you were, you know, when you're cocky but you're good. Sometimes you can sort of get away with it. We didn't let him get away with it. The, the Bash <laughs> Wesley Matthews halftime show at the 608 basketball. No, no, tournament. no, no, no. That, that's not what I'm getting at. It's not a bash at all. I mean, very honestly, I mean that that's part of the game of basketball. Yep. You know, yep. some people don't get that. You know, but it's but there is uh, an awful lot of truth to that. And uh, Jesse, I. Uh, you know, I told you when I was uh, coming in today that I uh, was going to give you a little trivia that would just plain blow you out yeah, of the water. Yeah, let's hear this trivia before All we take right. a quick time out here, here at halftime. Now, Tim? Tell me if I'm wrong, but uh, this team out here tonight uh, from Lake Mills, you know what their nickname is? The L-Cats. The L-Cats. Yes. Right. Any idea where it came from? Um, tell me. I'm hoping no. Like, I'm wondering, <laughs> what, what's the L? The oh, L, okay. it got to be. Here it goes. Lake Cats. No, no, no. Well, they do have a very nice lake in Lake Mills. I'm sure, it's called yeah. Rock Lake, by the uh, way. We've been there. Yeah. They got two, okay, two high goes. schools separated true, by two blocks. True, true story. Okay. True story. And this goes all the way back to 1944. And you can look at the website 1944. on there. 1944. 1944. You got to remember, we're nearing the end of World War II. You were like 30. That, well, I was. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my parents weren't even married yet, for God's sake. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> that joke works better with okay. Dennis normally. <laughs> 1944, we're still in World War II. There was this uh, division in the military called the Hellcats. Uh, now, I can I get away with saying that word? You can't. Hey, can we're I? only on the video, so oh, you can okay, say whatever okay, you okay. want tonight. Okay, good deal. So anyway, the, uh, the townspeople and the community has a contest to come up with a nickname and a mascot. And they came up with bears and tigers. Yeah. But, yep. of course, there's always this bunch of... Uh, renegade senior boys that oh, came yeah. up with, uh, hey, you know what? The Hellcats are really courageous and they're brave and they're strong and, you know, hey, let's let's go with the Hellcats. And they go, no, no way. There's not a chance that they're going to, you know, allow the community to say yeah. such a nasty yeah, word. Yeah, that's very you know? inappropriate. So, yeah. so they go, uh, you know what? Let's go with Hellcats. Guess what? It flew. Okay? It passed. <laughs> Hellcats, a bunch of senior renegade kids, boys, so back in 1944. They just came up with Hellcats because up it was the cl close to Hellcats. Factual truth. In it's on the website. Take a look at it. I can prove it to you. What more halftime entertainment do we need here at the 608 Basketball Tour? <laughs> Let's step aside for about a minute and a half. When we come back, we'll have the second half of action. 38-28, Wanakee leads eighth-ranked Lake Mills. Zimber Conda's presentation of Prep Mania in the 608 Basketball Tournament. Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda Service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. UW Credit Union presents the Prep Mania Student Athlete of the Week. Supporting local student athletes as they grow on the field, in the classroom, and in the community. UW Credit Union is here for every you. Learn more at uwcu.org. Hi, this is Dennis Semeroff from Zimbrick Honda's presentation of Prep Mania here on 100.5 ESPN. We're very excited to partner with UW Credit Union to help bring you even closer to the stories of great young student athletes. Each week as part of this season of Prep Mania, will feature the UW Credit Union Student Athlete of the Week. UW Credit Union is proud to support local student athletes as they grow on the field, in the classroom, and in the community. And just like the fantastic student athletes we'll be telling you about all season, UW Credit Union's online banking also goes above and beyond with top-rated service and security that exceeds industry standards. UW Credit Union is here for you, presenting the Prep Mania Student Athlete of the Week. Learn more at uwcu.org. Zimmer Conda's presentation of Prep Mania in the 608 Basketball Tournament Showcase Game number two, Wanakee 38, eighth ranked Lake Mills 28. Jesse Nelson, Tim Haldeman. For nearly 50 years, Zimmer Conda's provided the Madison area with quality Honda vehicles and the trusted staff 
of Zimbrick Honda's used car dealership will save you time and reduce your car buying stress by finding the vehicle that matches your style. If you're in the market for a new Honda or a used Honda, visit Zimbrick Honda in Madison today or online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Jesse, you scared the bejeebers out of me right off the get-go. You know, you introduced me and you said long-time referee, and then immediately you went into for nearly 50 years. And, and I'm going like, no, I haven't been an official for 50, 35 maybe. Oh, and then you go into the Zimbrick Honda. I get it. Brady Benish, number 23 for the Lake Mills Elcats, leads all scorers through the first half with 11 points, 10 for Jake Boba of Wanakee. 38-28, Wanakee on top as we begin the second half of action. Lake Mills working right to left as you see it. Pull up three is good for Ty Schaefer at the top of the key. Just like that, he has nine points tonight. Now the second leading score it for might, Lake Mills. It might be raining outside, but it's gonna rain threes here in the second half for Lake Mills. McKenzie driving into the paint, works one-on-one -on -one against the defender, Woleen, and he's able to get it to fall. Caden McKenzie with nine for the Warriors. They have a nine-point lead. Teaching moment playing defense right there. If you saw the hands of the defender, they went down on the ball. Got to go up on the ball. Coaches are going to teach you that every time. Left corner off the screen. Woleen, misdirection, floater on the run, no good. Awkward rebound collected by Fritsch. Right side, Bova. Driving baseline, triple team, goes through the trees, gets it to fall, and Jake Bova with a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, we had a screen in front. We, both of us got screened on that play. Coach Selk <laughs> to our right. Woleen picks up the foul for Lake Mills, his first. First foul called on either team here in the second half, and it's back to a 12-point lead. Oh, a little diamond pressure right here, diamond press. I sort of thought we'd see something of this nature. Oh, there's, oh, wow. Lake Mills nearly it. had it stolen away. Instead, now Bender comes into the front court, kick it to the left corner. Schaefer was open for a moment. Bender was too late getting it to him, so now Bender has it left side. Bender trying to direct traffic, nearly had it stolen away by the aggressive Owen Elliott. Bender now himself to the bucket with a foul and a chance for three himself. Oh, Bender just never gave up. I mean, the, the defense was just like glue on him. Even uh, 28 feet from the basket, he just never gave up. Drew the left baseline and, and much shorter than his defender, and he just went up so strong. And not only did he draw the personal foul, but he made the, uh, the shot just down 10. 43-33, the score 16-28 to go in the 608 tournament 2023. Remember that last 30 seconds of the first half, Jesse, it was a five point swing. It's gonna be really uh, important when this game uh, comes to a conclusion. Uh, jumper on the right baseline is good for Owen Elliott. First points of the second half for Elliott, he has five on the night, 11 point lead, Wanakee. Left side, Schaefer got the defender in the air. Didn't have a good angle to shoot the basket though, so he Kicks it back up top for Woleen. Off the screen, three, no good for Benish. Loose ball, who's got it? Wanna key. Owen Elliott, McKenzie, cross court. Pull up three, Selk no good. Weak side rebound, Lake Mills. 15.45 to go in the game, 11 point advantage for the Wanna key Warriors. Driving right side, offensive foul called on Lake Mills and Ty Schaefer. That's what we call an easy one. <laughs> and why was it easy for those well, there, watching there, at home? Yeah, there was just no doubt. You know, um, a lot of folks think that the uh, that the defender has to uh, have his both feet planted on the floor. 100% totally incorrect. You can jump as high as you want as long as you go straight up and don't go into the uh, offensive player. That's and it. you can go obliquely. I'll explain that someday. Obliquely? Obliquely. I didn't know that was take, a word. Take a look at the rule book. All right? I'll, I say that to coaches once in a while, that he was going obliquely, and they look at me like they just saw a ghost. <laughs> I mean, kind of like the look I'm giving you right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Three-point shot was airballed by Wanakee, and it goes out of bounds. So here comes Lake Mills against the pressure. They're able to break it into the front court. Schaefer for three. No good. Long rebound on a bounce collected by Benish. Bendish goes right side now, Bender out of the screen. A.J. Bender right side, lays it up and good. Nine point game, Wanakee in control with the basketball. 
Been a little out of sorts though to start this half. Three point shot, Ooh. maybe that gets them back That's on track. Caden McKenzie knocks it down. The key to that whole thing is the, the release. It was so quick. He had a man right in his face. McKenzie has 12, Bova has 13 for oh. Wanakee in a 12 point lead. And now the Warriors steal it away. Right side, Selk into the paint, tries to feed oh. it, it's deflected away by Woleen, and now Bender is grabbed from behind as he was trying to sprint out in front of everybody. That's probably a good foul for Wanakee to pick up there and prevent the fast break. You're right, it was a good foul, but down here at the other end to our right, sometimes, uh, you know, you can be uh, a little too unselfish. Selk was, uh, what, four feet from the basket? Yeah, he was off balance, but he had the board, you know, to his advantage. He could have laid it off the board, but instead, you know, uh, looked underneath for a teammate. Sometimes you just gotta shoot the ball. It's hard to, to get two points if you don't shoot. That foul on number 24, Vance Johnson. He picks up his third personal foul of this contest. Lake Mills off the stoppage. Shot for Bender is no good. Rebound, Wanakee. Well, that's a, one of the few times that Bender has a, had a size advantage on his defender. That one's easy. He's got to knock that one down. That was about 12 feet. Right side corner, three. Halfway down and out, oh. no good. And look at Bender going Whoa. up to grab that Did rebound. Did you see that? I'll tell you what, that's why college coaches are looking at this kid, just a junior. A.J. Bender into the paint, kicks it out. Open three, oh. Benish no good. Batted around. Stenbrotten lost it out of bounds. They're gonna say Wanakee knocked it out. Stenbrotten was looking for a foul to be called on Wanakee, doesn't get the call. Can't say as I blame him. <laughs> Clock stops with 13.39 to go in the game. What'd you think, huh? A lot of contact, Tim, a lot of contact. <laughs> All right, I'm with you. I'd be bruising. <laughs> AJ Bender, you mentioned the Division I talent that he has, Tim, has offers from Cal Poly and Southern Ooh. Illinois Edwardsville already as a junior, and you have to imagine if the Elcats make a run this year like we think they're capable of, he may get more and more looks as they continue to play some big well, games. He's, uh, he's he's quick off the dribble, and, and you saw him sky down here for that rebound? What is he, what are they listing at, 6'2"? Yeah, he's, uh, I mean, the kids he's an impressive player. Yeah, he's, he's very athletic. There he is again, A.J. Bender, double team, turnaround, jumper, short, no good. And Wanakee has it, leading by 12. And he's left-handed. That's really quite the advantage, in my personal opinion. Right side, oh. Bova oh spun my. past a couple defenders, oh but he couldn't finish it. Lake Mills <laughs> takes it away. Bender comes this way. Now, pass along the baseline, float oh wow. pass to the top, nothing for Woleen, and a whistle goes against Lake Mills on the rebound. Well, I'll tell you what, I saw Woleen as a seventh grader and, and this kid was uh, just amazing. Needless to say, the, his competition level wasn't very good at that particular time, but I'm going like, wow, this kid's gonna play. And uh, yeah, he, you know, he comes from a really good family and uh, a farm family just outside of Lake Mills. And, and uh, he's, he's, you know, he's just sort of feeling his way right now as a freshman, and, but uh, boy, he's got such a insurmountable amount of talent and a great kid. If you're not a great kid, you don't play for Lake Mills. They've got a coaching staff that's like none other. Steve Hicklin in his 12th that season. That is a great move right there. At the helm, how about the contact and the chance for three at the line? Well, the, the key to that play right there was uh, there was no secondary defense, none whatsoever. Nobody from the weak side came over to help. You, you just got to come over and, and help out your, uh, you know, your teammate when they get beat one on one. You, you just got to take that that uh, layup away, and that just wasn't the case right there. Jack Ellickson with a chance for three. He's got seven points in the game tonight. By the way, Wendorf picked up the foul for Lake Mills, his third. Free throw no good, but the largest lead of the night for the Wanakee Warriors, 50 to 36, a 14 point advantage. Dad, stay on, stay on. Off the screen, Schaefer, kick it over, wide open look, Hagedorn for three is good. I'll tell you what, go back to the championship game we had here just moments ago, it was about a 12 point lead with nine minutes to go, it's 14 with 12 minutes to go and all of a sudden it's down to 11. It can change in a hurry in this uh, high school basketball game, these kids know how to play. Especially the way Lake Mills can shoot the basketball from beyond the arc. 
in the paint, contact initiated, shot no good, but two free throws upcoming for Trey Murray, the junior guard. 12-18 to go in the game, 50-39 to our score. Murray sets, fires, first free throw up and good. And that's the first point of the night for Trey Murray. Magic number 63. Remember that number, Tim. First team to 63. Oh, the first team to 63. 98% oh, chance okay. to go on and win the game. That's how the formula works. All right. Second free throw is good. 13 point lead for the Wanakee Warriors. Four and one on the season. Their only loss coming to the Monona Grove Silver Eagles in game two of this season. Lake Mills undefeated at 4-0, just their fifth game. Great early season contest at the 608 basketball tournament. That Great. was real close to a 10 second violation right there. But Lake Mills ultimately able to get across the timeline and break the Wanakee pressure. Now Bender at the top of the key, shakes the defender, goes Ooh. right side, up off the glass and good. Big play, A.J. Bender. Notice, right-handed. Everybody's gonna notice that. Oh, that's Second a, chance, a lot oh of contact, ball batted around, nothing doing. Benish. Here comes Lake Mills. Benish on the run, floater oh. ultimately falls. Not the prettiest fast break, but it works for Lake Mills. They're only down nine. 11.30 to go in the game. Right side, Vance Johnson. Johnson drives and is fouled. Vance Johnson to the free throw line for the Wanakee Warriors with 11.21 to go in the game. They're not calling that a shooting foul. They're calling it on oh, the floor. Oh, Johnson, everyone thought it was a shooting foul, yeah. but ultimately the officials discuss and say it was not a shooting foul. So Wanakee will inbound beneath their own basket with 11.21 to go. Tim, what do you think? Well, I got, uh, I've got the uh, rolled back eyes from both coaches now. Tyler Selk didn't like that call either. <laughs> Caden McKenzie to do the inbounding for Wanakee, leading by nine. Second showcase game of the 608 basketball tournament 2023. Vance Johnson passes right side now down to Fritch. Fritch decides to pull up and shoot and knocks it down. Oh, Keaton Fritch. At uh, six foot seven, that's, you know, he's not the, the most physical kid in the world. He's the tallest kid on the floor, but he'd much rather pull up from 14 to 16 feet as opposed to going inside and, and battling it out. A little hand fighting and a foul is called against Wana Key. That's just the fourth team foul with 11 minutes to go here in the game. Six on Lake Mills. So foul trouble for the Elcats, not in their favor at this juncture. Inbound comes in for Benish near the timeline. Brody Henderson swing it all the way left. Bender trying to look for positioning. Out of the double team, off the screen. Benish for three. Pops and fires and hits. There's your rhythm jumper right there, you know. Yeah, he didn't need the rib he didn't need the dribble, but he had the rhythm. Right off the pass. The po the pass was right in the pocket. Oh, that's a great defensive job and strength. Strength, let me tell you. Caden McKenzie knocks it home. 10 point lead. Wanakee, 10 20 to go. Bender across midcourt. Everything's been feeding through AJ Bender in this half for Lake Mills. Up top, Woleen. Woleen shakes the defender, drives right, picks up the dribble, shot no good. Second chance, Bender no, taps it back. Lake Mills maintains possession thanks to A.J. Bender. Right side, Woleen. Swing it, Bender for three. Yes, sir, he does it all. A.J. Bender knocks it home for the Lake Mills Elcats. Hey, he took a little, uh, pointed at the defender right there too, got a little, uh, little like in your face type deal. Ball was batted from behind. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, a little dust up here on the right hand side after the whistle between number 10 Brody Henderson and number five Owen Elliott. A couple of seniors getting into it knowing the momentum is up for grabs right now in a seven point game with 9.40 to go. Foul situation uh, 
Six on Lake Mills and four on Wanakee. So uh, Wanakee will be shooting the rest of the way. Vance Dive. Johnson just picked up his fourth foul for Wanakee. So foul trouble for him. Wanakee again applying pressure. Right hand side, three point shot is good. Here comes Lake Mills. There's your freshman right there. He's able to set his feet, take his time. Now here's some secondary help. Oh, that's a great shot. Caden McKenzie answers with the right hand. McKenzie stirs the pot, man. I'm telling you, he's, uh, he's, he's sort of the catalyst to this whole group. Have you noticed? You know, he doesn't appear to be full of strength out there, but, but he gets the job done, you know? Timeout with 9-10 to go, 58-52. We've got a good one in the showcase finale of the 608 basketball tournament. Jesse Nelson, Tim Haldeman courtside with you at Madison College. For over 90 years, UW Credit Union has helped Wisconsinites achieve their financial goals at every stage of life, offering, offering great rates for greater possibilities. Join today at uwcu.org. UW Credit Union, proud to support all the area student athletes. Make sure to listen every week to hear the UW Credit Union Student Athlete of the Week. Two great athletes featured this week on Zimber Contest Prep Mania. Taylor Stremlow of Verona Area High School. Basketball player going to be playing at the University of Iowa next year. And Rylan Oberg of the DeForest Norskis. Check them both out on ESPN Madison's social media platform. Did, did you see Stremlow's uh, stats last night? Quadruple double Quadruple earlier this week. Quadruple yeah. double, something like 13 steals, 17 points, 14 rebounds. We, we had mean, their game last insane. week. It was Taylor Stremlo of Verona and uh, Tegan Mullaney of you McFarland. Yeah, we had that game as uh, on, the, on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel. Check yeah. it out if you haven't yet. Those two did not disappoint in their only meeting of their high school uh, career here in their senior season before they both become teammates at the University of Iowa next season. Out of the timeout, Lake Mills with momentum, only down by six. Right side, Bender uses the glass. He's a lefty, but he went right side, and he knocks it down to make it a four-point game, 58-54, as we cross the midway point of the second half. Does Wanaki have a response? They have for everything Lake Mills has thrown at them so far tonight. Down low, oh, shake the defenders, and that was too easy for Eli Selk to lay it up good off the glass. 60 to 54. 8.20 to play. Weak side key. Chase it both, weak side. Bender guarded one on one by McKenzie. Pulls up short, McKenzie rebounds. Caden McKenzie. Might have dribbled it off his foot, but he got lucky because uh, it ended he, up in the hand he, of a teammate. He dribbled it off of his teammate's foot in front of him. He got lucky. Pull up jumper. Wow. Oh, and it's good for Fritch. That was an off balance, tricky shot from the right side, and Fritch was able to hit it. I tell you what, that kid, uh, you know, he's real long, and uh, he's, for 6'7, he's quick. He gets off his feet very quickly. Not a real physical presence, but does the job. Wolleen now top of the key. Feeds it right side for Henderson. Lake Mills looking for an opening against this Wanakee defense, trailing by eight. Little miscommunication in the corner. Bender went to go grab it. Bender let it roll out of bounds. The call is that it stays with Lake Mills. Right in front of the Cats bench with 7.25 to go. Benish back into the game after taking a breather for the Cats. And you get a sense, Tim, that this is the pivotal moment of this game. Well, a long ways to go. But, uh, yeah, but, boy, I'll tell you, with the uh, advent of the three, oh, there's a cutter underneath Schaefer, opted to throw it out. Benish in the corner for three, no, but an offensive board. Loose ball, bodies fall. Great no call. Wanaki has it. Oh, and a little, looks like uh, Henderson's a little shaken up as he's limping back. Five on four opportunity for Wanaki. Three-point shot, oh. banks in for Ellickson. That's two in this ball game. Take those six away and uh, you get yourself a different game. Just like that, it's back to an 11-point lead for Wanaki with 6.57 to go, 65-54 and a timeout Lake Mills. Well, everything we sort of expected it to be, very honestly, this isn't over yet. I mean to tell you, Lake Mills can score in, in bunches. 
I've seen it up close and personal. I mean, we just saw them cut the 14 point oh, lead yeah. down to four very yeah, quickly yeah. this half. But Wanakee, yeah. on, on, the, on the same side of things, Tim, I mean, Wanakee has opened up a lead from four now to 11, seems with ease. Well, I'll tell you what, Wanakee, you know, this is my first opportunity to see them this year. Yeah, they want to get the ball up quickly if they've given the opportunity. That That's their, their their mantra, if you will. They want to get it up quickly. But I think they, they're they also comfortable in the half court. You know, they've been patient at times, and they've proven that, that they can play the game that way. Wanaki has averaged just 69 points a game in their first five contests this season. They're four away from reaching that. We've still got seven minutes to go in this uh -oh. game. Guess what? We made it to 63. Didn't we, we did get to uh -oh. the magic number. Wanaki <laughs> hit it at 63. So keep that in mind, Tim Haldeman. We'll see if that magic number comes to fruition once again. Make him a driver. Make him a driver. Out of the timeout. Stay Left there, side. Right. Benish. Now Good. for Hagedorn. Back to Bender off the screen. Good Don't defense by Wanaki and McKenzie. Bender oh. resets. Goes left, one-on-one, -on -one, into the paint. Spin move, A.J. Oh, Bender came up short. Great secondary defense came over to uh, get a hand in his face. Ooh. Wanakee on the run, lost control, but they maintain possession. Kick it out, three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Lake Mills. Schaefer wants to push it ahead for Benish. Benish left side, didn't think he had the angle, so he slows it down. Now left side, Schaefer got the shot. He's asking for the continuation. Oh, yeah, we know. For those of you watching on video, the referee waved that thing off none less than what? Five times, maybe six? <laughs> and we, we got it after the first time. But you know what? In the NBA, that counts. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hagman, six. He had four you, more you take, steps in the NBA. You take four steps from the midcourt line, it's going to be good. <laughs> I understand why Schaefer was asking for it, but oh, you're right. Of course. He watches too much TV. <laughs> Books get in the way of television. I don't know what you're talking about, Tim. Into the paint, kick it over, right corner. Schaefer for three. Well, that kid can play. He was asking for a three-point play. Well, he gets it from the corner. 65-57. Want to key up eight on Lake Mills with under six minutes to go. Ooh. Right side, Bova. Kick it to the corner. Three-point shot. Too strong, no good. Offensive board. Bova put uh. back. Yes, sir. I guarantee you the coaching staff's not real happy about that one. Weak side rebounding was non-existent. Bender into the trees. Kicks it to the corner, nearly lost it. Lake Mills maintains. Woleen, cross court corner, three. Hagedorn, no good. Rebound, Schaefer. Kicks it over, Benish on the run. Interesting possession there. The ball got kicked out to Woleen, top of the key, and all of a sudden it stopped. That's the freshman in him, okay? Next year, it's not gonna work that way. I guarantee you, kid's too good for that to happen. But he did everything right. He saw the open guy in the corner and they ended up with a nice three. Johnson kicks it down That's low strong. for Devonte Bacon. And he knocks it down on a chance for a three-point play. How about some sizzle for Devonte Bacon? I like it crisp. 69-59 <laughs> with like 5.02 to go. You know, uh, a bunch of these kids for Wanakee play football, and I, and I think they've gotten rid of their pads. You know, they, they, they're starting to look pretty good. Three-point play converted at the line, 70-59. to 59. Wanakee leads by 11. Crossing five minutes to go in the game. Left side jumper. That's not an easy shot, but Ty Schaefer made it look easy. Well, he'd rather shoot it from 22 than uh, 16 because it counts one more. There's a steal. Here comes it Schaefer. Com Could it be? Correction, that's nope. Woleen all alone in the front court. The scoop and score, Tyler Woleen. Seven point game, here come the Elcats with 4.30 to go. How long did that take? Right side, Bacon driving baseline, spins his way into the paint. Contact, no whistle, shot no good. Lake Mills has it. And that's a heads up play by Schaefer, unsure if he could grab the ball after trying to keep it in bounds, so he protected it for Hagedorn to pick it up. Pass to Bender, left side. Out of the screen, Schaefer. Kick it right, Woleen for three, oh. halfway down once, Had twice, a second no. chance. Almost went down in the second opportunity. Wanaki has it under four minutes to go, 70 to 63. 
Left side baseline, one on one. Now dribbling out to the free throw line and Bacon has it. Downhill, Bacon gets it to fall and another chance for three at the free throw line. Bacon taking over in the last couple of minutes for the Wanakee Warriors. Yeah, he's showing great strength on the drive to the hole and uh, draw the personal foul and uh, an opportunity to get it back up to double digits. Here comes Fritch back into the lineup and uh, along with Selk and uh, McKenzie. 3.40 to play. I gotta tell you, I, you know, we can't do this without talking about Dana McKenzie, can we? Okay, I mean, the ex-coach at Wanakee, what a great guy, I love him to death. And uh, refereed him so many times and, uh, you know, Ty Salk's kid is out here, Dana's kid is out here. And I had those kids when they were like fourth graders in a youth tournament. Woohoo! Wow. The old apple doesn't uh, fall too far from the tree, you know, and uh, boy, those kids could play back then. And I guarantee you they're probably best friends and they'll probably be uh, in each other's weddings, I guarantee you, someday. You can name the schools on one hand as the three-point shot is no oh. good for Benish offensive board and a putback for Stenbroughton. First points of the game for Matt Stenbroughton, the senior, 73-65 with 3.20 to go. It comes, can, comes you, at a very valuable time right here. You can count Where's on it? one hand, Tim, the amount of schools that are just good at everything across the state of Wisconsin. Wanakee's one of them. Out ahead of the pack. Ooh, they didn't see it. Stenbroughton had the rebound. It. Yep, he finds Bender instead. Right side, three ball. Benish, no good. Offensive board for Hagedorn. Swing it up top, Woleen. He kicks right side. Stenbroughton, pump fake three. Instead goes to Bender. Under three minutes to go. Eight point game. AJ Bender drives, Corner. kicks. Stenbroughton, bodies fall. Yep, that's a charge. And an offensive foul on Lake Mills. Stenbroughton would have made the shot but the whistle got in the way. That's really costly. That would have got it down to five. But uh, you know, as, as you're heading towards the basket down the right side, you just gotta control your body. You, you knew all the time that he was gonna go to the corner. That's just Lake Mills', uh, that's just their mantra. You know, when they, when they get cut off in the lane, they're always gonna go to the opposite corner. They're so good at it. And as you mentioned, Stenbroughton made the shot, and that's a little bit out of his element. Caden McKenzie all the go. way to the hoop. What did I tell you? I tell you, that kid rises to the top. 16 for Caden McKenzie. 10 point lead, Wanakee. Stenbroughton, heat check Whoa. three, missed it too long. Lake Mills running out of chances. McKenzie again, kicks it to the corner. Open three, short. Rebound Lake Mills, they want to run. Here comes Benish right side, one on two. Benish takes it himself up off the glass and good. Fearless, Brady Benish. 75-67, two minutes to play. Tyler Selk just hollers out to say, hey, get a good shot. Timeout, timeout. Timeout is called by Wanakee with the loose wow. ball. Woleen just exhausted laying in, in front of us here on the floor and uh, yeah, these kids are playing their heart out. You know, this is a, a nice crowd. You know, this is this is just a bonus. This is an early holiday bonus, Jesse. What a thrill, huh? This has been such a fantastic showcase all weekend long at Madison College. And this final game, not disappointing. 75-67 with a minute 55 to go. Tim Haldeman, what's the message for Lake Mills? Because it's double bonus the rest of the way for Wanakee once they commit their next foul. Well, uh, you... You're not going to be able to waste a whole lot of time right here. You're going to have to hope for some missed free throws. Uh, it's it's three possession game. And, do, uh, do you start fouling now? I, I might go maybe 15 seconds. You know, maybe try to get a steal, um, and then it's going to come crunch time. So there's know? a minute 55 left. You're saying get it down to about 100 seconds to go. A minute 40, and then start yeah. thinking about sending them to the free throw line and hope you get a little lucky in the free throw game. In that neighborhood, you know, because you're just not going to get that many opportunities with the basketball and uh... can't afford any empty possessions down on that Correct. end either. Correct. 75-67. Wanakee, 4-1 and one on the season. Lake Mills an undefeated 4-0. and oh. Inbounding just to my right. It comes in cleanly. And a foul, yep. Boba. Foul. 
Who do you get? And they're going to call it on Hagedorn. So okay. number four fouls number four. You could have taken your pick right there. Between the there were, there were a couple of defenders yeah. that were in on it for sure. So Bova goes to the line. Two free throws no matter what the rest of the way for Wanakee. Minute 52 to play. First free throw for Bova, no good off the back rim. So if you're Lake Mills and you're drawing up the formula, it only took three seconds and at best Wanakee gets one here. That's a good trade off to start the comeback if you're trying to draw it up. Let's see what Bova does with free throw attempt number two. Missed them both. Lake Mills rebound. And this could be an early Christmas gift for the Elcats. Schaefer right side. Handoff. Bender all the way to the bucket. Fouled. Knocks it in. And a chance for three at the line. Once again, big play A.J. Bender. Now we've got... Uh, uh, 139 remaining and an opportunity to cut it to five. It's, it ain't over till it's over, Jesse. Just a six point game and only 15, 16 seconds have gone off the clock since that timeout. Bender, a good free throw shooter at the line with 99 seconds to go in the game. Free throw is good. Five point lead, Wanakee. No shot clock in Wisconsin high school basketball. So Wanakee, in theory, could hold it to the conclusion of the game. Full court man to man pressure. McKenzie gets it over the timeline. Ooh, boy. Him and uh, Wolene going at it. Double team, Selk. Yeah, Selk needs to find somewhere to go. Selk runs out of real estate. Ball's loose. Lake Mills jumping on it. What's the call? The officials conferring. Lake Mills says they had it and called timeout. Let's see what they say. The arrow would give it to Wanakee if they call it a held ball. Minute 13 to go. The officials conferring. And they're going to call a foul on Lake Mills. Loose ball foul on Stenbrotten appears to be the call. Well, we didn't have a good look at it, Jesse. We're looking through a, a whole bunch of bodies, but uh, I thought foul might have been the last thing that I would have called. Yeah, Stenbrotten would agree with you. He, he saw him, uh, he was pointed to for a foul, and they said, what? So that means two free throws for Wanakee. The Lake Mills fans in attendance here at Madison College there, there was, not happy. Well, there was just, and, and you know, if, I, if I'm... Uh, Looking at the, the body language of the officials, there was just an awful lot of uncertainty. That, that was my opinion. Uh, First just, free just, throw just is good for Sal. No, nobody knew what was called. And then they all got together and... Uh, it's almost like they still didn't know. Correct. Okay. I, I'm not going to argue. And uh, it, it's... it's you know, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever called a foul that I didn't know was a foul. That free throw makes it a... Three that was possession huge. game. That was huge right there. 77 to 70. And instead of Lake Mills getting it back with a steal and having a chance to cut it to a one score game, now they're down three scores with a minute 13 to go. Right side, Schaefer. Hand off Bender. Bender up top. Now drives in. Bender to the bucket. Shot no good. Stenbrotten fighting for the rebound is fouled from behind. And I believe that will send Lake Mills to the free throw line here. That is the seventh yep. team foul yep, on yep. Wanakee, so a one and one if they don't call it a shooting yeah, foul. Stenbrotten should go to the line. That is the case. I just want to know if they're calling this a shooting foul. or. Oh, I don't think so. I think it's a one and one. I thought so too. Yep, and that yeah, is the signal. Yeah. One and one for Matt Stenbrotten. Pat Anderson, do you agree with that? You agree with that? That call. <laughs> Stenbrotten. <laughs> Off the glass, no good. You can't ask someone a question without a mic, Tim. We're on a broadcast oh, here. Okay. What's he, what did he say? He said no. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Free throw is no good. Wanakee has it up by seven. 51 seconds to go. Bounce pass left side. Wanakee plays keep away. Lob pass. That was dangerous, but Wanakee keeps it. McKenzie goes right side. Foul committed. Keaton Fritch to the line for two with 41 seconds to go. I put him on the spot, though. No kidding. Yeah. Pat's a, uh, a retired official. I don't know if you know that or not. Shooting number two, Keaton Frisch. Good friend of mine. 
He's the official scorer here today. So again, both of these teams, Lake Mills and Wanakee, had their seasons come to an end last year in the regional final round. That's the opening weekend of the postseason for boys basketball in Wisconsin. First free throw is good. Make it 78-70. Fritch, just 10 points tonight unofficially for Wanakee. He averages 13 as the leading scorer, but well, I'll, I'll great what, balance for this Wanakee Warrior squad. Very, very true. And uh, I'll tell you what a luxury when you got a kid like that. It's six foot seven with long arms that can, uh, uh, you know, when, the, when they're pressing and, and trying to uh, double team, he can throw over them. You, you could just, uh, he's just a real uh, benefit to the team. Left side Bender trying to oh, hold on wow. to a last gasp. Time Bender out. hits it as he falls to the ground. He has been. And an exceptional talent on display here at the 608 tournament. Clock stops for the timeout with 29.6 to go. 79-72, Wanakee on top. So Tim, it looks like Wanakee is going to hang on to win this game pending a miraculous comeback here in the final 30 seconds. Should they do so, and you look at both of these teams, what this tournament could mean for what their long-term prospects are for this 2023-24 season. Well, this is going to look uh, really good come uh, come seeding time. You know, uh, you know, it's not the way that it used to be. Uh, you know, now it's a computer ranking and and I would venture to guess that uh, that these, you know, really uh, high octane uh, non-conference games would lend itself towards uh, getting a little bit better seed and that's that's huge when it comes to tournament time. Yeah, there's no doubt that this is something that as you go through that process at the end of the year, the, the computerized system and how it takes into effect a, a win for Wanakee over a team like Lake Mills, if they go on to play again, no teams on their schedule in the Wisports.net coaches poll at any division level so far as of today. If Lake Mills goes on, has an incredible season, this win will look really good for Wanakee come the end of the season. And, and on the other hand, okay, uh, Lake Mills, uh, May, may lose the game by uh, four to eight points, but whatever it may be, whatever it comes out to be here. Inbound pass ooh, comes ooh. in, loose ball, oh. nearly stolen away Jump by ball. Lake Mills. Jump ball. They oh, call they call a foul. Yeah, I thought they, they looked like number five oh, for both. Lake Mills, Wolene. It looked like he was grabbing on to the arm okay. more so than the ball of Owen Elliott from the vantage point that I had. So we're it sends looking, Elliott to the line. We're always looking for a few good referees, Jesse. <laughs> Come on. We'll get you in shape. I think I peaked in uh, Muskego <laughs> High School uh, Little League. <laughs> yeah, you did a little baseball back in your day, I huh? sure did. Oh, I'd, be, I'd yeah. be happy to yeah. get back into it. Oh, can't wait to teach you. First free throw attempt is good for Elliott. 80 to 72, a true team effort here for the 608 tournament showcase game number two for Wanakee. Hey, uh, speaking of baseball, this this place right here that we're in here, Madison College, do you, do you follow them at all? I know they're good. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you. Do you know uh, the big dog? Do you know who the big dog is? No. You don't? I'm going to introduce you to him after the game. <laughs> Gary, Gary Big Dog Brenneman, for you folks that don't know, this guy is in the Hall of Fame. He is absolutely amazing. I had a nice chat to, chance to chat with Gary before the game. Three-point shot, no good for Lake Mills. Batted out of bounds. It's Wanakee basketball. Up nine with 16 seconds to go, and it's pretty much a formality at this point. We'll see if Lake Mills decides to keep fouling or call off the dogs here. 16 seconds. Inbound comes in right side, and a foul is committed with 12.5 to go. Another outstanding year of the 608 basketball tournament at Madison College. Six games for the first time here in 2023. It was four games in year one, five games last year. This year they added this extra showcase game at the end of the night. Just an outstanding event put on by Bill Kegler and the entire staff. His huge team that helps him put on this entire event at Madison College. Every level, every person involved makes this one of the premier high school basketball showcases in the state of Wisconsin. Bill Kegler, Waterloo High School graduate. Did you know that? I did not. You did not? No, I should have oh, known. Oh, man, if, Jesse, if, hang around me long enough, and I'll have you an absolute wealth of information in no time. If we're calling you in, I know we're going to hear about someone being a Waterloo <laughs> graduate. I just didn't know it would be the yeah, guy running this tournament. I'm going to say 2004, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he played with my kid, and... Uh, 
had a good time and went on to play at lacrosse and uh, nice career over there as well. Great family. Under 10 seconds, Look Bender for three, have a wow. night. A.J. Bender, 6.8 to go. Uh, Tim, tell us something about Waterloo or whatever you just saw while I add up well, how many points A.J. Bender's got well, here tonight. Well, uh, they were uh, in the state tournament in 1964. I was not a resident at that time. I'm but uh, yeah, they were in the state tournament and uh, I think they got like uh, third or fourth place or something like that. Back then they played a, you know, a, a mop up game at the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, and, leading uh, all scores, 20 points for AJ Bender tonight for uh, Lake Mills. Again, he's getting, what. he's getting some looks from Cal Poly, SIU Edwardsville, and I'm sure there are other schools we'll add to that list before season two. Jesse, I, I don't want to offend any other coaches in the area, but I, I will tell you this. I look forward to going to Lake Mills more than any other high school in the, in the entire area. I seriously do. Number one, number one, you heard it here first, the coaches coach and the referees ref. That's number one. There's never a doubt when you walk in the gym that the coaches are going to coach and the refs are going to ref. And that's always pleasant for us guys in stripes. That's just fun, okay? But those guys, the, the kids never say a peep. And, and they play the game the way it's supposed to be played, and they're fun to watch. You know, as a referee, you enjoy watching good basketball. And I like threes, you know, for a little <laughs> guy myself, you know. Inbound Here. comes in, and another foul is assessed. Stenbrotten sends Selk to the line with just under four Wait, seconds to go. 83-75, eight-point game. I don't know if I'd foul at this point, but I understand playing to the end. This is going to be a tough test that Lake Mills is going to have to bounce back from, and it's going to make them better for oh, what they course. hope is going to be a Division Three state championship Absolutely. run Absolutely, in they're, March. They're not going to run into anything. I, I, I would, you know, Columbus was really good last year. Uh, they, they were uh, hampered due to uh, graduation. I think they're still a good basketball team, but uh, I'll tell you what, this club is going to be tough to handle in the capital. Second free throw, no good. Lake Mills, one more. Chance to put points on. Nope, they do not get it in time. Final buzzer sounds. 84-75. Wana Key gets a win at Madison College in the 608 basketball tournament over Lake Mills. Showcase game number two in the books, and so is the 2023 608 basketball tournament showcase. What an event. What a weekend. What talent we were able to see on display here at Madison College. Well, Jesse, I saw two games, and uh, yeah, both all four clubs uh, from top to bottom, incredible. You know, we got a, a Duke recruit, we got a Wisconsin recruit, and we got uh, kids on, on both of these clubs here today that I guarantee you there's some D1 looks getting uh, all over the Midwest. Outstanding tournament once again put on by Bill Kegler and his entire team at Madison College. 84-75 Wanakee defeats Lake Mills. The Warriors improve to 5-1 and one on the young season. Lake Mills suffers its first loss of the 2023-24 campaign. The Elcats fall to 4-1. and one. Both of these teams lost in the regional final last year and they finished at least tied for their conference championship. Wanakee won it outright undefeated 14-0 in the Badger North. Lake Mills tied at 8-2 with Columbus and Lakeside Lutheran. They hope to be on top at season's end and it would not surprise me, Tim Haldeman, based on what we saw tonight. Again, Lake Mills is Division Three. There, this is a big play up game to a Division I squad with state championship aspirations in Wanakee. With the games that Wanakee has scheduled outside of the conference, it would not surprise me if we see both of these teams at the Kohl Center. I'm going to agree with you 100%. And uh, both coaches have to be uh, ecstatic over the uh, play here tonight. Uh, it was just exceptional for an early season uh, product. You know, these kids have uh, five games under their belt now, roughly. And, uh, you know, it's still early. You know, uh, on both clubs, there's a lot of football that was played by an awful lot of these kids. And, and to get rid of those pads, to come out here just uh, yeah, five five weeks later, maybe, roughly. Um, I mean, the, the state tournament football was, uh, what, the 
25th, 26th, roughly of uh, November. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe a it's few always couple days middle of that. November. Yeah, yeah mid, so mid I mean, to late there, there's like you know maybe four weeks we're into basketball here. Yeah, that's just hard to do. Mm -hmm. It takes uh, you know you got to get past the the first of January for these kids to become basketball players again. Once again, your final for this final showcase game of the 608 basketball tournament. Wanakee 84, Lake Mills 75. Thank you so much for joining us for this presentation of Zimbrick Honda's Prep Mania. Special thanks to our video producer tonight, Hunter Vaughn. Hunter has been here at Madison College for this entire tournament. Last night running the video, called the first game that went to double overtime this morning, and he's hung out here all day, including the video portion for the championship game and this final showcase tonight. Shout out to Hunter Vaughn. Tim Haldeman, thank you for being part of this event as well. Thank you so much for the invite. This has been a real thrill, Jesse. For our entire team, including Alex Strofe, the Dean Dennis Semrau, for audio producers Riley Yauk and Colin Russo, and of course, Bill Kegler putting on this entire event at Madison College. My name's Jesse Nelson. Wanakee wins 84-75 over Lake Mills in our final showcase. And the tournament championship goes to the Wisconsin Lutheran Vikings, defeating Lakeville North in our championship game earlier today. Thanks so much for joining us and for being part of the event. Along with us, this has been the 608 Basketball Tournament 2023 on ESPN Wisconsin and Wisconsin On Demand.